whipped by Superman. Oh. Oh. All I can say is, is that that jerk tricked me. <laughs> he promised to buy me dinner. <laughs> he promised me to let me buy me dinner, and he didn't do it. He's a Ooh. You do not cheat me out of dinner. My fullback is very close. Litter. If he'd have done litter, ooh, that that would have crossed the line. Yes. And the other one is, if you were brought back by the the, the I watched him do it. I sorry. I tried to stop him. Excuse me. <laughs> I have business to take care of. I don't care right now. I don't care. <laughs> you do. The muffin button is sacred. <laughs> anyway, what's your next question? The other one is, if you, Goku was brought back by the ne uh, Namekian Dragon Balls, how much stronger would Goku get from that? Hmm. Well, it, de it depends. Is the muffin button awesome? <laughs> No, because Popo ate, made it. <laughs> Popo made what? The muffin bun. I can't believe what? we're just getting LSD muffins. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, that would be fun, fun. Okay, wh why am I seeing purple clouds? Okay, guys, 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 guys. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, next question. She killed Totoro and she's wearing his pelt. <laughs> you monster! Totoro, Totoro! That's not very name. <laughs> If you had to pick which Sailor Moon character you would want to be, and this is for all of you, which one would you be? Oh. Oh. Ash Ketchum. <laughs> <laughs> hey, gotta catch them all. <laughs> Final answer. <laughs> which one was the fire one, Mars? Mars. Mars. Yeah, Mars. I, just, I would love to be here and just have all the attitudes. Like, <laughs> Shinto girl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we watch that show? <laughs> it's just like, damn, man. I mean, I'd actually probably like uh, do uh, Netflight. Ne uh, uh, Netflight's a cool character, right? Yeah, but no, you have to pick one of the sailors, don't you? <laughs> All right, fine. I'll just be conventional then. <laughs> um, probably, uh, probably have to be Jupiter. <laughs> So seriously, yeah, when I when I first watched Sailor Moon, that was like, yeah, I, yeah, I like you. Dude, <laughs> I would want to be Jupiter just so I knew how to uh, actually cook and clean. <laughs> <laughs> also, beat the crap out of people. <laughs> but the, the other two more importantly, because I like my husband does all the cooking and I'm just so terrible at it. I ruin rice. Oh. You ruined rice. <laughs> I actually screwed up Steve Rice. How? 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 You do not. You are underestimating the capabilities of my like. Overestimating him. Over him. What was your second question? All right. Well, now that I think about it, it's not more of a question. Um, on Tumblr, floating around somewhere, there is a audio sample of Vic Mignogna reading. Gay werewolf, oh god, we just listened to that the other night. <laughs> what? I didn't know about this. Yes. Big yes. um, has been doing uh, erotica novel audio. Uh, ah! uh, and they are, it is, it is so, it is gay Native American werewolf horn. <laughs> I'm just gonna smile for the rest of the time. <laughs> that, 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 that's 
made our day. That's, that's made the day again, oh, because obviously seeing you guys friendly faces, that made our day, but that made the day again. Yes. She's trying to oh, you, guys. you guys. Awesome. And you guys. Welcome. Was that, was that a question? <laughs> Kill Torah Hold on, really quick. I uh, actually have got to uh, send a friend of mine upstairs to grab my sunglasses. Because that's going to be the only thing in about mm, 30 minutes that's going to keep me from hating the world. I know that sounds really douchey, but with this ocular migraine coming on, it might be the only thing that's going to save me from going insane. Oh, All right, you're going to need a room key, don't you? <laughs> Here, it's one of those. One of them doesn't work. <laughs> Thank you, I love you. <laughs> He's got Kaiser room case. Go. No, he has the migraine. <laughs> okay, next person. Yes, I have two questions. Yes, yes. Um, the first question is, what is your favorite scene for, for all of you? What is your favorite scene from Dragon Ball Z Rage? Damn. <laughs> People always ask that, and I'm like, I'm like episode thirty. All of it. I, all, of, all of episode thirty is my favorite. I would have to, I would have to second that. That that was a monumental moment. I mean. But I suppose really, yeah, obviously I to just like come up with Is it because name. you got to kill Blue Creepo? <laughs> yes, that's He didn't mind. kill me. <laughs> I killed myself. Nobody kills me but me. <laughs> I'm sorry that you don't know how to use the control of Screezo. How dare you? <laughs> you should go check the game. like you I was playing Watch Dogs. <laughs> I'm just saying I was able to cut the amount of time it took for him to kill Frieza in half. <laughs> you need your sunglasses. Yeah! <laughs> yeah that would have like been a time. Damn it, I need those glasses. Hurry up, Austin. <laughs> and my final question is... Oh, oh, we didn't all answer. No, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Guys, what are your favorites? Uh, I'd have to say from the cooler movie where it, like, basically he embeds Goku in the mountain. And it was just like, there's a, was it like a quote? It was, it was, it was, it was, it was a reference to, yeah, it was a reference <laughs> to uh, Dark Knight. Yeah, Dark Knight, and I was just like, I was listening, it was like, oh my god, I sound like a badass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's when you thought you sounded like a badass. <laughs> I was like, this guy. <laughs> I'm going to go down the line, I'm going to do my favorite scene from all of you. Uh, Scott, my favorite scene, just in general, uh, well, any scene with you, really. Uh, my favorite moment was uh, Mecha Frieza versus Trunks, where, he comes out with the thing and he's like, nah. <laughs> that was a last minute addition. But my favorite part about that is when he goes, look like you dropped the ball. And he goes to Frieza, his eye twitches, and you go, drop the, the ball. ball. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Masako, and this is my favorite episode as well. The uh, Vegeta versus Goku fight from episode 10. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, moment with Kaioken times three. That was the moment. I didn't just consider you guys like, you know, funny no. people. I considered you great no, no, writers, no. great storytellers, great actors, and ultimately you became great friends as a result of watching that stuff. So. Aww. And you, I bloody love, the, like, the whole cool movie is amazing, but my favorite moment from the entire thing is where you go, I'm gonna kill it! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you do it! Oh, I'm gonna do it! Don't you do it! I'm gonna do it! Dang it! <laughs> and I guess my favorite scene for me, with me in it, uh, <laughs> uh, is uh, the, um, bloody hell, the moment where he's like, give me some ideas. <laughs> uh, when, when, they, shows up. When, when he shows up at the end of the episode. Yeah. And my last question is, for all of you, what is your favorite Pokemon starter? Favorite Pokemon starter? Oh, oh Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur? Any other answer is wrong. Magic card! Oh, I like that. What's that? Magic card? Magic card, Magic card. Yeah, ba Magic card, best starter. All the time. Magic card, you splash. Nice work, Town Magic card. Now, try to attack with your own splash. Uh, yeah, I would actually have to say, uh, Squirtle. Yeah, what what a start. Is it because of the Death Battle episode that came out? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I vaguely I vaguely remember that, but yeah, that was good. That needed to happen. Yeah, it was. Well, I just like to say, Blastoise won the battle. Yeah. <laughs> I, 
I just want to say, water starters that aren't croaky. <laughs> I'm on the same boat with Squirtle, but just because he turns into this just horrifying beast known as Blastoise. I gotta admit, Blastoise is probably, is definitely cooler than Venusaur. Yeah, and Mega Blastoise? Oh, yeah. damn! <laughs> <laughs> my god! <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd have to yes, Hoenn confirmed. You did confirm. <laughs> I'd have to go with the Helix fossil. Yes! 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 Since you guys have been, uh, been in production for a long time and voice acting, uh, you give a lot of peers to voice act, well, you know, to make their own shows. I was wondering if you guys have auditions for, uh, for your cast, uh, to join your cast. Um, unfortunately, we really don't do the whole audition thing. <clears throat> Partially because uh, to actually have an open or even a closed audition would mean we'd have a lot of people entering. And we don't have a whole lot of characters to even like, give out. Um, we've only got a couple of productions that we're doing, and we're very selective. And we also like to stay in-house, partially because we need to know that those people are going to be instantly reliable, and we know their range and their talent. Um, it's always frustrating to tell people, nope, you can't audition, because that's you no. Know, we don't like shutting people out. But again, it's we have a we're, we have a tight production schedule, and, and a lot of things to account for. What he's saying is, you suck and he hates you. <laughs> that, is, that is exactly it. I'm so sorry. He may as well have just appreciated it by just going like, no, 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 and I'm offended you asked. <laughs> Thank you so much, Team Forsar. Thank you, man. It was so nice. It was very nice. Oh, yeah. And I just shattered his dreams. I'm so <laughs> All right, guys, I know this was asked in Little Kribo's panel yesterday, so what is y'all's favorite one of Frieza's minions? Frieza's minions? Minion number 43? <laughs> I need an example. Uh, I freaking, I actually, like, love, I loved those scenes, actually. Like, we got, to do, we got to do so much with Frieza before he, like, became an actual threat. Like, that's one of my favorite things about the entire Frieza saga is that he had to build up until he finally got to get in the ship. And I can actually you say that. You said a bad thing. I, 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 can, I can say that that's PG-13. It's also all in that, like, in Cooler, so. That's true. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like, I'd have to say that my favorite minion, um, you know, I got to play my favorite minion, Zarbon. <laughs> How is Chuck doing anyway? <laughs> oh, you mean Princess Snake? <laughs> well, I have to think the answer is obvious, but a pool. <laughs> like, dude, yeah, he, he doesn't pool. get, yeah, he doesn't get recognition. It's hard to recognize someone after they've been blown to smithereens, isn't it? <laughs> Well, they all happen eventually, but at least he had a cool name. At least he had a name. Yeah, <laughs> strawberry schnapps. Most free, well, at least he didn't have to have a number. Actually, we gave a bunch of his minions' names all based after fruits, because that's, that's the uh, joke, or the naming scheme. All of his minions are named after fruit. Zarban is the Zavon fruit. Dodoria is a durian fruit. It's, it's hilarious. A pool is an uh, apple. <laughs> I think he had one like each pay. Yes, yes, there was each pay, which was Apu's cousin, I think, or brother, I can't remember. Yeah, and then there was Orin. Oh yes, Orin. Orin dies. I think, um, well, he's not the only one that dies. Oh, and Asai, and Asai. Asai was the one who was trying to um, move for a union. <laughs> this answer is way more informative than the one that I came up with in my phone, because I was like, I don't know what any of them are. Well, uh, I do my research. Now. <laughs> Just that. Uh, right. I, I have this trend of liking blue things. I, I enjoy. I really like Burner. Just he would run really fast. He would leave a blue streak, and I was like, "Yes, this is awesome." Blue streak. 
Speed Spy. <laughs> you, you said you really like blue things, and the Mega Man over there was like, Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go fast! <laughs> Wait, that's cool! <laughs> and have y'all ever written something that was just so good that you had to just like sit back and stop writing because you were laughing too hard. There is something in Cooler, actually. Um, <laughs> it, 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 when it happens, you'll probably know. It was something Lanny ended up improving on the fly, and we're like, oh my god, we have to keep this. <laughs> so you'll see it. All right, thanks, guys. Y'all are awesome. Thank you. Thank Speaking you. of Cooler, we're going to show that in just a minute here. <laughs> Uh, who here was at the panel last night? Oh, good. A good amount. Good. It's good to see a lot of people who have not seen Cooler, so all of y'all can, uh, can be surprised. For the rest of you, you know, watch it again. It was funny. <laughs> you better laugh. I, I'll be keeping an eye on you. I don't know how to uh, hi guys. Um, first of all, Daryl Ivan, I'm so used to you using like your deep voice and your deep growth voice, and you know, so like when I heard you talk, I was like, whoa, that's like. I He's a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? Very like, hey, what's up, kind of guy like me. He was like, hi, and then I'm like, yeah. 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 Y
Sorry, we all look so much more and handsome. And it does not sound like one of them. Oh god, there is Mark down at the bottom. Oh, I should have been able to see that. It's too bad. No, oh my god, this is fantastic. I am in love with this. That's brilliant. Yeah, so thank much. you so freaking much. That's thank great. You. I think the reason I thought that was Lenny and Taka is because I'm so used to them being here, and Lenny's got the curly hair, and Taka looks like a girl. <laughs> Right there is your position by how I saw you on the right here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the asshole now? Wear them both! You must. <laughs> Wear them both! My best friend. <laughs> Wear them both! <laughs> Wear them both! No, no, no. Those are yours. Oh, <laughs> Okay, uh, now that I look like I belong in the late 90s slash early 2000s or like I should not be allowed near children, <laughs> I, only, I, I literally only have these because like a friend of mine bought them out of the blue and I was like, well, I need a pair of sunglasses. So, but uh, okay, now the question for the person who's been standing there waiting for friggin' ever. <laughs> I like your scarf. Thanks. I believe that is from a show we talked about earlier. I believe it was Sherlock? <laughs> no, no, it was Adventure Time. <laughs> no, 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 no. Can you give it close? Um, Homestock. <laughs> it is mentioned. No. Super Hulak. Super Hulak. <laughs> Bravest Warriors. Bravest Warriors. Okay, go ahead. Boy? Ask some questions. All right, I have two questions for all of you. <laughs> okay. First off, you said you're about to show this cool movie. When do you think that's going to be posted online? Tonight. All right. <laughs> We're going to beat the rabble by a couple of hours. <laughs> now my second question. Yes. This is for all of you. If you had to choose to be in, to be stuck in a room with one with this, with Mr. with Mr. Popo or Alucard, who would that be? Oh, Alucard. <laughs> Release the beast! <laughs> it, by the way, I'm, I'm curious if anybody gets what that's a reference to. No. Tell if us. If you look at Kami's lookout, it's a circle. It's it's a big circle made of squares. Yeah. That's that's why he's looking down. Genius. And I'm guessing it's going to be Alucard as well. Yeah, because with Alucard, I may either I may understand a chance of surviving, or at least it would be over very quickly. <laughs> With Popo, it will be neither. No, I, I, I believe we could just just have a great friendship and just enjoy just a gallon of LSD. It'll be my greatest journey yet. You think we share that with you? No, oh, you can get our own bounds. Oh, wait, uh, oh, you're not leaving, you're just fanning yourselves. Okay. Continue fanning. Popo's training! Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, actually, we're going to show uh, the movie real quick. 
Is everyone prepared for Cooler to the return of Cooler's Revenge of the Reckoning? Yeah.